fans of the Toyota 4Runner may not be happy with our news. It appears that we might have to wait a few more months for the arrival of the next generation, which we have all been impatiently waiting for. The Toyota 4Runner will reportedly undergo a facelift in 2025, not the 2024 model, according to recent reports. When might a makeover of the Toyota 4Runner happen? Join me as we take a look at the most recent updates about the Toyota 4Runner. In 2024 or 2025, the Toyota 4Runner could enter its next generation. Although some individuals anticipated seeing the new model around 2023, there isn't much evidence to support that forecast. The release of the new 4Runner might not happen until 2025. With the launch of the new Land Cruiser, Prius, and Grand Highlander, Toyota is currently quite active. The new 4Runner might not be able to be included just yet. Instead of options that are largely sold in North America, the major focus may be on global models. Toyota may be preparing for the American debut of the Land Cruiser Prado, which could delay the 4Runner, says in a report. Likewise reports claim that the launch of the new Toyota Tacoma was postponed by a few months. It might not start production until the first quarter of 2024 as opposed to the final quarter of 2023. That means the 2025 Toyota Tacoma, not the 2024 vehicle, will get a facelift. In addition, the new Toyota Tacoma is anticipated to launch first. If it's delayed, the 4Runner undoubtedly also has a delay. Spy images of the Tacoma preparing for testing have been released, however information on the 4Runner is more difficult to come by. Why would there be a delay in the 2025 4Runner? The 2025 Toyota 4Runner's release date may be delayed for a variety of reasons. The whole automobile industry has been hit by various supply chain problems in addition to the current global scarcity of semiconductor chips. Without chips, automobiles lose electrical capabilities for cylinder deactivation, cameras, climate control, and safety functions. The supply of materials for hard tops, upholstery, foam for seats, and rubber for tires is also limited. Also in low supply was the new TNGAF platform. The release of each new model may have been delayed by a year as a result of this. This platform will be scaled down and adapted to accommodate both the new Tacoma and the 4Runner. Last but not least, Toyota has the luxury of waiting. The demand for the Toyota 4Runner is still too high, it is still quite popular. How powerful may the 6th Gen 4Runner be? The current 4.0-litre V6 engine in the 2025 Toyota 4Runner with 270 horsepower and 278 pound-foot of torque must be replaced with a more fuel-efficient unit. It's likely that the antiquated 5-speed automatic transmission will also be replaced. According to rumors, the 2.4-litre inline-four turbocharged engine from the Lexus NX350 could power the 4Runner. It generates 275 horsepower and 317 pound-foot of torque. The Toyota 4Runner Hybrid shouldn't be underestimated. The 2.4-litre max hybrid powertrain with 340 horsepower and 400 pound-foot of torque would be thrilling if the 4Runner went partially electric. The Toyota Crown is currently coupled with this configuration. And so what is your wild guess of the incoming 6th gen of the Toyota 4Runner? Let us know your thoughts in the comment box below. And while waiting for the official statement from Toyota and possibly more information on what we should expect, let's check for now the best and the worst generations of the 4Runner. The Toyota 4Runner is a perfect illustration of why Toyota is continuously rated as one of the leading manufacturers in its sector. Among people who prefer driving mid-size SUVs, the Toyota 4Runner has developed a solid reputation. What, though, makes these automobiles so unique, and which years are the greatest to purchase? If you're seeking to buy a used SUV, there are some model years that are better built than others and are, thus, preferred. The top 5 years for the Toyota 4Runner are, in the following order, 2020, 2017, 2013, 2009, and 2002. While 2015, 2014, 2003 to 2006, 2001, and 1995 are undoubtedly some of the worst Toyota 4Runner years that you ought to be aware of. Reliability of Toyota 4Runner With the exception of a few subpar models, the 4Runner is among the most dependable sport utility vehicles on the market. Since it began to be produced in large quantities in the 1980s, it has actually received praise for its durable design and dependability. It has improved strength, longevity, and stability because of its body-on-frame construction. Numerous owners have lauded the 4.0-litre V6 engine's dependability. 
The Forerunner has a reputation for being a good deal in the long term because of its durability and dependability. Best years of Toyota Forerunner. Even though it went through some growing difficulties, the Forerunner eventually gave birth to several fantastic car models. Take a look at the following Forerunner models if you're searching for a used SUV. 2002, third generation. A sportier version of the Forerunner from 2002 is also available. This version is fantastic for exploring the great outdoors. However, you'll discover that the functioning is ideal if you want to keep your tires securely planted. There are two strong engines at your disposal. A 4.7-litre V8 generates 265 horsepower, compared to a 4.0-litre V6's 245 horsepower. With either engine, towing is straightforward, allowing the whole family to enjoy vacations to the lake or camping. 2009, fourth generation. This design demonstrates that the Toyota 4Runner's fourth generation was in fact more useful. Off-roading was a wonderful fit for the sleeker design. Furthermore, you will still enjoy operating this car even if you primarily drive on paved roads. For the 2009 model year, there are two separate, amazing engines available. In comparison to the 4.0-litre V6, the 4.7-litre V8 has 265 horsepower. Worst years of Toyota 4Runner. It's generally preferable to steer away from specific Toyota 4Runners because some of them have more problems than others. If you don't have experience with bodywork, stay away from the Toyota 4Runner because it is most susceptible to rust during these years. 1995 Second Generation In the first few years after this car's release, there was a lot of customer unhappiness. Customers frequently voiced concerns concerning internal components. For instance, the head gaskets frequently failed. Sadly, no matter how many times the issue was resolved, it would always come back after a few weeks or months. According to accounts from other drivers who have occasionally lost steering control, this model is unreliable. 2001, third generation. Another model year of the 4Runner that performed poorly in crash tests was the 2002 version. Don't bother looking for these used, even though you can find them for cheap. For your loved one's safety, the design simply crumples in a crash. Also, this model earned 250 complaints, a sign of consumer unhappiness. The corrosion of the body also has an effect on the rating of this model. Even before the manual transmission and locking rear differential were eliminated during these years, off-roading was less enjoyable. And also the following, 2003 to 2006, fourth generation, 2014, fifth generation and the 2015, fifth generation. What are usually the common problems? Common issues are transmission failure, door problems, body rust and corrosion, cracked dashboard and defective airbags. For your benefit, we have presented the Toyota 4Runner's best and worst years. The 4Runner's solid build and excellent performance have made it dependable overall, despite a few rocky years. Every model that has come after has received praise for its general dependability, reliable off-road performance, and roomy interiors. And sir, will you line up for this car? Let us know in the comment box below. And if you've watched up to this point, thank you so much. For more videos about EVs, Toyota, Tesla, Ford, and the most recent auto news, please consider subscribing to Tech Addicts.